morning, my respected teacher and my dear friend. I am Mukshita Das from class 2 C, DAU Public School, Chandrasekhar Pur, and today I am going to present a project. The project topic is English Drama. English Drama is so important for all of us and hence I have chosen this project. In my project, I have made some colorful cards and each card explains one concept of English Drama. So let's start. Number one, now. Now I'm naming one. For example, Ram, Sita, Billy, Ram. We have two nouns. Common noun, proper noun. Common noun means not special words. For example, cat, boys, girl, city, boy. Proper noun. Proper noun means special words. For example, Mukshita, Bhubaneswar, Delhi, Rashtrapati Bhavan. We divide noun into four parts. The four parts are things, places, persons, and words. The next concept is verb. Verb are doing words or action words. For example, write, talk, walk, write, sleep. For example, I am running, I am speaking. I am studying. So speaking, running, studying are verb in this example. The next concept is preposition. Preposition are the words which tells us the position of an object in relation to another. For example, in, on, under, above, between, near. For example, the mangoes are in the basket. The basket is on the table. So in and on are preposition in this example. The next concept is pronoun. Pronoun are the words which we use in place of noun. For example, he, she, him, her, then, they, it, he. For example, Sita is a girl. Instead of using Sita again and again, we can use she. She is a girl. She is an intelligent girl. She is a tall girl. The next concept is adjective. Adjective are describing words of noun. For example, the, uh, man, the smart girl, tall girl, intelligent girl. So, tall, intelligent, smart are adjective in this example. The next concept is adverb. Adverb are the words which explains uh, how the action is done. For example, the old man walks slowly, the sun shines brightly. The next concept is tense. We have three tense. Past tense, present tense, future tense. Past tense. Past tense means which is going to who which is already happened. For example, I ate watermelon yesterday. Present tense. Present tense are the words which is happening now. I am presenting my project Future tense. Future tense means which is going to happen. I will go to class 3 in March month. The next concept is singular and plural. Means one and many. For example, there are two types. We have some rules in the singular and plural. So, rule 1. In general, we add S in the plural. For example, tree, tree, book, books. Rule 2. Nouns that end with C, H, S, H, O, double S, S, X and Z, we write E, S in the plural. For example, watch, watches, brush, brushes, dress, dresses. Rule 3. Nouns that end with Y, we change I, E, S in the plural. For example, baby, babies, cherry, cherries. Rule 4. Nouns that end with F or F, E, we write V, E, S in the plural. For example, white, white, leaf, leaf. The next concept is mess. 
masculine and feminine means boy and girl. We have two types of gender. Masculine and feminine. Masculine means boy, feminine means girl. For example, boy, girl, king, queen, father, mother, land, land. The next concept is A and the. A is used with consonants. For example, a nurse, a teacher. And and is used with vowels. We have five vowels. A, E, I, O, U. For example, an apple, an umbrella, an hour. Here H is silent, so an hour. The. The is used with particular things. For example, the boys, the girl, the sun, the sky, the Taj Mahal. Has and has. Has is used with single person. For example, she has a doll. It has a bone. Have. Has is used with I, you, they. For example, I have a toy car. They plan to go to a picnic. The next concept is interrogative sentences. Interrogative sentences will make questions for answers. For example, I am ill today. Am I ill today? He is busy now. Is he busy now? The next concept is negative sentences. Negative sentences means opposite sentences. For example, the flowers are beautiful. Flowers are not beautiful. I am ill today. I am not ill today. That's all for today's project. There are many hundred rules in English grammar, but due to time, I can't explain so much in detail. So I have covered in very short. Thank you.